Hey there everybody, how's it going today? So this is going to be a little video, not necessarily on the CRT in front of me here, but this is actually going to be about uh, calibration of a CRT. So that's something that I do uh, to pretty much every single one that I come across, uh, because in one way, shape, or form, the geometry convergence, what whatnot, needs to be uh, adjusted. These TVs are old, they'll get a little out of spec over time, or maybe from factory they're just not as set as somebody would might prefer. Uh, so in this video, I'm just going to go over a little bit of detail on kind of what you need to really look out for, especially for minor adjustments. I'm not going to get into anything major like replacing capacitors or anything like that, and I'm primarily going to focus on geometry over anything else. So let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll turn on 240p test suite right now. All right, so here I have 240p test suite up and running right now. This is through my Super Nintendo. Uh, and there is a couple factors you have to understand while you're getting into 240p test suite. Uh, one of the biggest ones is what kind of 240p test suite you're using. Like I said, mine is running off the Super Nintendo just from a nice little cart. However, I've noticed most people run uh, 240p test suite through the Wii by Homebrew. Uh, so that may or may not affect a little bit of what you're trying to do on screen because different consoles will have slightly different video uh, geometry, or how should I say, position on the screen. So you have, do have to take that into account uh, on top of whatever console you're playing on this. So sometimes making adjustments on certain consoles uh, won't look the best on other consoles. For example, on my uh, SNES here, if I were to center up the picture entirely uh, on my GameCube, the uh, screen would actually be shifted a little to the left. So I have to take that in mind with this. But besides that, let's go ahead and get into the geometry portion of this. So here, test patterns. The two geometry uh, grids that I use are monoscope and grid. Both of these are extremely good patterns for two different reasons, and I'll get into them pretty quickly. So the first, obviously, is grid, which is what most people understand and know. Uh, this is obviously to see how centered your picture is, and that's what I use it for. Uh, you can also see how overscanned or underscanned your image is by checking the red boxes here to see how far up or down or left or right it is, or if the screen is too stretched or too tiny. And what I like to usually do is I like to overscan it a little bit, uh, primarily just so I can get the entire uh, screen completely shown. I don't like underscan whatsoever, so I will try my absolute best to get this as centered as possible. And the two ways you do it is through horizontal position and size, as well as vertical position and size. And we'll get into the corners a little bit too, because that's all a sort of other thing on its own. But this is primarily what you want to do when it comes to uh, making sure that the screen is centered, especially if you're centering it for the console that you're playing on. And for me, I try to center it as best between the Super Nintendo and the GameCube. So like I said, mine's slightly shifted to the right here purposely, but it doesn't affect me whenever I'm playing either console. Uh, so that's how it looks for that. All right, now for the next pattern that I like to use, this is the monoscope pattern. Now, your mileage may vary in terms of what 240p test suite you have because I have seen some people using the test suite that don't have this pattern. Now, with through uh, we what is it, We Homebrew, you you could probably get this pattern downloaded and put on there. My Super Nintendo one came with it, but I have seen some other people who haven't had this pattern. Uh, for example, one of the biggest ones, too, that a lot of people like to use is the linearity pattern. I don't have that pattern on this thing, so I have to use Monoscope here to center up my image and to make sure that everything is correct. But the one thing I like to use Monoscope pattern for is to line up the edges as well, as see how straight the corners are. So you will sometimes have issues with parabola, trapezoidal uh, patterns and, or not patterns, but just the geometry of it being a little skewed or maybe it's bowing in or out of the corners. And you would use the monoscope pattern here to line up your edges correctly and to see how straight uh, the, the picture is, especially on the edges here, going all the way up to down. So I tr primarily, like I said, I, I overscan the image just slightly, so you can take these little boxes here as the same as the red boxes in the grid pattern, uh, and I just try to keep it kind of like this. And then 
if you really want to, you can try to line up this edge perfectly. This one, like I said, is overscanned a little bit, but you don't have to. Uh, I like overscanning. I think it's... As, as long as it's not cutting off any of the picture whenever you're playing the game, because these older video games were designed around a, a little bit of overscan, then that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, so yeah, this is how what I use the two biggest patterns for geometry in particular. Uh, when it comes to convergence, anything like that, I use a different pattern entirely, but I won't really get into convergence, as that's not really the point of this video. The point is to mainly just use the geometry or the service menu. What, I, what am I? What am I saying? The <laughs> using either the service menu or the potentiometers, depending on the TV that you have. Uh, here, for example, mine has a service menu, and I'll show it to you now. To center the screen. <clears throat> and it's pretty uh, cut and simple. Now, your also your mileage may vary too on what you can even adjust on this uh, on this tube. So, for example, my uh, Panasonic here has a fair amount of adjustments to be able to adjust the corners, especially uh, not so much else. Uh, some TVs don't really have like, for example, horizontal size. They'll actually have horizontal position, but not size adjustments. So you do have to be careful of that. Uh, sometimes some TVs will already come over to all heck and back or under a lot. Uh, so you do have to look at that to see if your TV can adjust for it. And especially with really old TVs, ones from the earlier 90s uh, and back, they don't have service menus. So you have to look into opening up the back of the TV. Or sometimes there will be little uh, holes in the TV that adjust certain things uh, on the TV via potentiometers. Uh, for example, this Sony GVM here that I have, as well as this Sony Trinitron KV-13 TR-24, both use potentiometers to adjust the screen. This Panasonic is a bit more convenient because all you need is a service menu, and with that, you can just do this and shift the screen around. But yeah, primarily, this is mostly just showing how you should center up your screen. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got uh, for you. If you need me to go into in-depth with any sort of other uh, pattern or any sort of other adjustment type, for example, convergence, maybe even purity, as you can tell, there's a little bit of a purity issue, but that's something that I can't really fix on this thing. Uh, or even focus, you know, if you want to look into adjusting focus a little bit to make the tube a little sharper, a little bit, uh, what is it, a little bit blurrier, because something it depends on the person. Uh, then I definitely can go into that as well. But overall, that's all I really got. Uh, if you want to see more of stuff like this, or if you want to see me working on any other CRTs to adjust, uh, especially if I get any ones in, all the ones I have here are all adjusted. I mean, I, I pretty much took the time to do it all myself. But if I do get any more, I definitely can show you that. But yeah, thank you so much.